part two of this podcast about uh, the Oregon Trail game. And last time I was explaining how I uh, had to create an assembly language subroutine to time the user typing a word. Uh, for the Oregon Trail game, it was the word bang, which you need to type to uh, when you're hunting animals or you get attacked by bandits. Um, so this time I'd just like to show how I actually embedded that inside the Oregon Trail game itself. Um, so the actual code for Oregon Trail, um, this is the code from the 1975 mainframe version. I think it actually was even originated a little bit earlier than that. Um, but Jeremy Maher uh, uploaded this code uh, to his blog and also to the Internet Archive. And I took his uh, basic code, it was actually like deck basic maybe, um, and just uh, made a few tweaks to get it to run in AppleSoft. And the biggest change that I had to make, aside from things like just the random number generator, um, was actually the timing. So it turns out that that other flavor of BASIC had a nice way to easily time routine, uh, the user typing something, but there was no way to do that in AppleSoft. Um, so if we just take a quick look at the code, it should look um, pretty familiar for uh, anybody who's played um, the original mainframe version before. Um, you know, it's basically like here, if I actually just run it, you can see what's going on. So it says, do you need instructions? Um, sure, we'll say yes. Um, and what I did is I actually, in the AppleSoft version, I made the speed a little bit slower than usual, just so it kind of simulate like being on like a deck uh, line printer. Um, and in this version, to hunt, what you're doing is you're just, uh, just asking you to type the word bang, and you just type it as fast as you can. Um, so if we kind of keep going, we can see how this goes. Um, you basically have to buy your supplies at the beginning, and then you just start on your journey. Um, and actually, that pause that you saw there was actually loading the assembly code, and I'll just show that in a second. Um, so we'll just go real quick here. How much do we want to spend on all this stuff? And here we go. Um, so let's hunt. And I'll type bang, and you can see, ooh, I did, I must have done really fast there. Um, oh, now we have to, wild animals attack. Uh, okay, good, I got them. Um, so let's just uh, break out of here. All right, let's look at the code now at the very end where we're actually setting up the routine. So if we list the uh, part of the code where it actually wants us to type uh, bang, here it is. Oh, it looks like the speed is still slow. I'll have to fix that. Um, so you can see here's the subroutine where uh, it asks you to type bang. So it says type bang, it, pr it prints a bell, and then line 4510, there's our call to our ampersand routine. So it says ampersand bang, we get back an integer variable. Uh, the next line, 4520, we convert that to milliseconds by dividing by 1,000, or from milliseconds by dividing by 1,000, um, and then we just return to the rest of the program. Um, so this these four or five lines were really, um, aside from actually loading the assembly code, these, this was the only real major change I had to make to the original basic program. So I had my ampersand routine that timed how long it took the user to type something. And what I did is I assembled that using Merlin, saved it off the disk as a uh, assembly language program. Um, in fact, actually, if we just go into the monitor right now, we should be able to even see that code because we've already played the game. Um, so here's our uh, ampersand routine, starting at 300 and going through about 380 something. Um, so you can see this is all the code that we talked about a little bit earlier. Um, right here, here's our multiply by four that we were talking about. And right now we're at the end and we're just about to return back to, um, to AppleSoft. And here's the uh, return from subroutine, 38B. And if we look at 3A0, um, this is probably where it's storing B, A, N, G, if I'm not mistaken, because uh, that's where it stores the data um, that gets passed from AppleSoft. So what we needed to do is actually just get this code into the AppleSoft program so it wouldn't have to be load a separate subroutine. Um, so to do this, all I did was I just wrote one line of AppleSoft code, which is, I put it into the Oregon Trail game, although it never actually gets run. I just had to run it manually. And this just 
uses a peek to print out the code from 300 hex through uh, the end of the program. And so if we actually just run this, we can just re reproduce what I did. Um, so you can see it's just going through and it's peeking the various locations and it's just printing out the bytes and I formatted it so it looks like code. Um, and then I was just able to take this code and just paste it straight into the um, AppleSoft program itself. So if we look at our program, list 4800, uh, comma 4850. Um, so here's all of that assembly code. Um, and the first thing it does at the very top is it actually has to skip past some other data tables which are used by the rest of the Oregon Trail game. Um, but starting from here on, this is our machine language code. And when the Oregon Trail game first starts up, it jumps to this subroutine. So it jumps to 4800, does a go sub. Um, and you can see line 4830 here. Um, it's just looping through all 140 bytes, reading in those data values, and then poking them into memory at uh, hex location uh, 300, uh, which is 768 decimal. Um, and then finally, in line 4840, it just sets up the ampersand routine and then returns back from the subroutine. So when you start up uh, Oregon Trail, it just runs through the subroutine, loads all the code into memory, um, and then from that point on, anytime you need to use that ampersand routine, it's ready to go. Um, so I will, I'm going to upload this code to uh, probably the Internet Archive, um, along with a, a scan I did of a, a printout from a, a, a version of this that I actually played back in probably about 1982. Um, so I printed that out on uh, an old deck line printer. Um, so I scanned that in and I'll, I'm going to upload that to the Internet Archive along with disk images of this AppleSoft version and then text files containing uh, both the basic code um, and the assembly language code. And then finally I'll also upload a disk image uh, containing all of these programs here. Uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask them in the comments. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.